We're the students of the Wenatchee Valley College. We're doing a final project for our industrial refrigeration class on an ammonia system. My name is Jeremy Eagle. I'm Max Payton. I'm Francisco Lestilis. My name is Robert Thomas. These are the pressure controls for the first stage compressor. This is where you can set where the system will cut in and cut out at different differential pressures. This is the suction accumulator. This is where the cycle will restart and this protects the compressor by only allowing vapor to travel to the compressor. This is the first stage compressor. This will take the vapor and make it to a higher pressure before it travels to the second stage compressor which will allow it to create a lower temperature. The first stage compressor is powered by a belt driven three phase 15 horsepower motor. Once the vapor leaves from the first stage compressor, it flows up as a high vapor, high temperature vapor and goes to the intermediate cooler. And what the intermediate cooler does, it boosts up the vapor to give it a bigger suction to the second stage compressor which then leaves the second stage compressor and to the evaporator. The motor you'll find on the compressors is a three-phase 15 horsepower motor which helps the compressor move the vapor faster than the first stage. So from the high stage compressor we have our discharge line which comes through here and enters our evaporative condenser which is uh, ran against water which Close upon it with two fans. One is missing here, so we have a belt driven fan down in here with the squirrel cage fan motor down there and blade. And with that water, we're condensing our high temperature, high pressure vapor into a liquid, which will then flow into our liquid receiver here. You can see we have a check valve, and once that comes through here, we'll come up to this check valve, which I believe is the king valve which will flow over to our surge tank and from there it will come back with our EPR or BPR back into our flash intercooler. So the liquid from the accumulator goes through the pipe down through the solenoid to the surge drum. The surge drum separates liquid from returning to the evaporator. Only the gas will pass to the compressor through the suction line to return the liquid to the evaporator to recirculate. Also, it absorbs the suction of the evaporator that occurs during vapor, uh, vaporation of the load during op operation. The coil circuit carries an amount of liquid in form so the reverse portion of the load, when the light duty less gas is formed in each coil circuit, and it is in room for the liquid. When the load becomes heavier, the duty is greater. More gas is formed, less liquid is carried from the coil circuits. Each, even rooms coiled have changed in load, principally due to the addition of warm products in the room. The third function of a surge drum to absorb the violent liquid surging that occurs when the suction line of the flooded evaporator is quickly open that immediately drops pressure on the liquid line in the evaporator. Following the instant suction line open creates a tremendous amount of vapor practically even changing the liquid from left left in the evaporator as shutdown is suddenly thrown in the surge drum. From this surge tank, goes back up to the BPR, goes back around. And starts the system all back over again in a suction accumulator. The system has two evaporators. This is one of them. It's an induced draft and they are flooded evaporators, meaning most of the coil is filled with liquid. Ammonia is a hydroscopic chemical, meaning that it will be attracted to water and follow water wherever it is. If there's water on the ground, the ammonia will gather on the ground and it will stay there until it travels far enough that it dissipates to a 
non-toxic concentration. If you ever get ammonia on your skin, wipe it with cold water and not hot. For about 20 minutes you want to do that. If inhaled, you want to move yourself to a place where there is no ammonia present and fresh air is available to you. Oh, uh, oh well that was our presentation. Thank you for watching. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. <laughs>